so today we're making big burgers! Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so step number one. So heat the oil in a frying pan over high heat, add the onion and cook for four minutes to soften. Oh, my mind's so frazzled, I don't know where to start. So step number one, cut onion, white onion, red onion, whatever onion you want. And I'm now the housewife, cooking, cleaning, everything, because I'm on furlough. Yeah! I probably did, Han. <laughs> so, finely chopped onions. So for the onions in the oil, as you can see, and just cook them up for like four minutes. And then when four minutes is done, then we put in the garlic. You can put garlic cloves in, but I just use the chopped garlic and it's like two teaspoons of that. So we need two garlic cloves and one teaspoon of one clove. So we put two in and just fry that up with the onions. This is just a lot easier. And just fry that up. And while the onions and garlic is, what's the word? Marinating? Frying? Sweating. Sweating. We will be cutting out some peppers and it says jalapenos, jalapenos, but we just have mixed chilies and it's optional if you don't like spices, just don't add it in. And then we need to de seed them. De seed both of them and finely chop them. And then you can just turn the onions and garlic down there. Cutting up the peppers and the other pepper, the spicy pepper. <gasps> Damn! Stop, no, Dad, I'm being serious, stop. Um, and then when you're done finally chopping them, just add them in with the onions and garlic and away you go. Mm. So sorry, just not professional. Just not professional. Also, I'm not the best cook, so. Don't go hating on me. Although, actually, I think I'm quite a good cook. I'm a better cook than my mother. <laughs> so yeah, add as many chilies in as you're feeling, you know, square in my face. So that's all my peppers, the bell pepper and the spicy pepper. And I'm just putting it into the pan with the onions and garlic. And that's just on a medium heat, six, seven. If you don't want to, I feel fun. And then just let that sweat, as the father says, for two minutes. And then we can start adding the seasoning. Okay, the one thing I don't get about YouTube videos is how people make their cuts so seamless. They practice, they do it all the time. Well, they have, I think they have like five cameras though. Probably so that. That's looking lovely. <laughs> then we're going to have cumin and paprika and salt and pepper. Just a little bit of spice. See, so once again, just add whatever spices you want. This is just what I've read and I haven't even covered. So that's a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then just how much salt and pepper you want in it. In it. Oh, my bad, it didn't actually say pepper, it just says salt, but you can have pepper if you want. Obviously, I will leave the recipe down below, because I'm sure no one's going to be cooking with me. It just smells like fajitas, it smells so good. And then when you think it's all done, just put it aside, leave it to cool for a bit. This is what mine looks like. Smells like fajitas. And the next step is go on to the kidney beans you can use whatever beans kidney beans 400 grams or chickpeas or whatever peas you want drain them pat them dry and then you want to put them into a food processor with onions or you can just mash it with your hand whatever whatever you have to hand so then using the Nutribullet we're gonna pulse pulse the onions peppers garlics kidney beans all together and then we'll go to <laughs> Working it. I mean, it worked with the kidney beans. I'll show you. 
the kidney beans weren't really here right now. So I'm just going to put it into a bowl and mash it with a... And the next step is to add lentils in. This is what mine looks like at the moment. But if you use a tin like this, you will need to cook them first. So this is just a little bit easier. And then you just add them straight in and mix it all together. And then, yar. So we're just mixing it together. I will show you what it looks like. I'm going to preheat the oven and then we're going to get on to the sweet potato. Right. So the oven, you want the oven at 180 fan. 180. And then we're gonna form the patties now. So then when you shape the four equal patties, then you put it into the fridge for 30 minutes. And this is where we're gonna start doing the sweet potato fries. So we're just gonna make four equal balls, just do them roughly, and then we can add more or take away less if we need to. Okay, they are looking <laughs> so the patties are done and we're going to put them in the fridge half an hour and then we're going to start with the sweet potatoes. <laughs> What's your speciality? Sweet potato fries? Uh, and you can't say otherwise. So we've got the sweet potatoes cut. We're going to put olive oil on them. We're going to put salt. And if you have this, this is what makes them. The best. It's the Nando's. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> the Nando's medium peri peri rub. If you don't have it, you can just put paprika, chili powder, whatever you want really on it, or you can just have salt and pepper if you're basic. So sorry about the lighting change. It's now dark outside, and I have the tiniest little ring light as you can see. And once they're seasoned to your liking, usually I put a bit more on, but like usually I probably put like a whole thing in a half thing enough so it will do so 20 minutes take them out flip them 20 minutes again patties are now out of the fridge nice and cold the chips have been turned over now for another 20 minutes so now we need to get the frying pan ready put some oil in it then cook them two minutes each side and then after they've been cooked for four minutes we then put them in the oven for 10 minutes and then it should all be done Delightful. And now I put them in the oven for 10 minutes. Hopefully they'll bind a bit more in the oven. Yeah. And then the next job is for you to get your fillings ready, your toppings ready. We have tomato, lettuce, a nice brioche bun. What else do we have? Some yeah. or avocado, but you can add anything you want. They said you can add jalapenos in, sour cream, so whatever. Whatever is fitting to your taste buds. Whatever cleanses your palate. <laughs> Whatever takes you fancy. <laughs> so we have our toppings ready. And we are just toasting the buns. It's got three minutes. I'll get back to you when it's all plated up. And here is the final burger. <laughs> and that is the video done. I hope you enjoyed me cooking and making a mess. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and let me know in the comments what I should make next. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya.